Hey, good morning. Thanks for tuning in to 79 Custom Jigs. I want to kind of give you an update. I'm working on the, the box collection of jigs that I got coming out. It's going to have like the top, I don't know, 10, 12, 15, whatever it is. I hadn't quite decided yet. But I wanted to show you a little video of, of what I'm trying to put in that uh, particular one. This is going to be one of the ones. It's a white ghost. Let me get some tweezers or some pliers up here where you can see this, see this jig. Right here. And that's awesome. Marabou, silver in the back end, silver and white in the neck, fluorescent neck, some translucent eyes, looking good. Anyway, that's one of the ones that are fixing to go in there. And I'm, I'm going to tie that lure for you this morning uh, just to kind of show you um, what it looks like. And I'll be tying, tying up. This is a, a quarter ounce uh, on a uh, sickle hook. So bear with me just a minute. I'm going to move the camera around and I'll show you how I tie this and kind of what's coming up. Uh, if you would, uh, be sure and subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell where you get notifications whenever I bring out a, a new video. And uh, that, that's what helps support my channel and to where I can keep bringing these videos on, on uh, things that I'm doing, on the hobbies that I'm doing. Uh, I, got, I got things going on all the time. So anyway, uh, let me move the camera and we'll get right to the bill. All right, there we go. I think I've got this to where y'all all can see it. Mm. Like I say, a quarter ounce uh, peel head with a, uh, I think this is a number four sickle hook back here. Uh, this has been powder painted in a, uh, um, gosh, gloss white. But anyway, and then it's powder baked. So there you go. That's kind of the start of it. Um, I'm going to start out, I got using some Sally Hansen's, I got some uh, Lactite Super Glue for my liquids, I've got a little UV juice right here, my small UV gun, they're all pretty cool, things that I use, you know, like a pair of tweezers, good pair of scissors, and I can tie these by hand. But I kind of prefer my whipping tool uh, here. It, it's, it's pretty cool. I like using them. Uh, some of the stuff I'm going to be using, and this changes from time to time depending upon the uh, availability of the stuff that I get. But uh, uh, this is a fluorescent red, or they call it red. It's actually a pink. I'm going to put, put my glasses on. Uh, Danville 210 Denier, uh, flat wax. It's 100 yards. Uh, if you had watched my last video, um, I have gone to Hobby Lobby and bought my my threads in like really, really big spools, like 600-yard spools. And then I've got a deal that converts it over into one of these smaller spools to where I can use it. It saves me a ton of money, uh, which is great because I tie a lot of flies and I go through a lot of stuff. Uh, the other thing I'm going to use for the flash uh, is this silver right here. Uh, puts out a lot of sparkle. It's kind of multicolored. And then on the back end, uh, a white marabou. And so let me show you how I put this together. Uh, first off, I start with the Sally Hansons. Just put a little dab on there. And I may run out of thread on this, I'm not for sure. And I, I kind of wind it around my thumb. That way I have a little bit of tension on it like this. And I just start right behind the head. And I go all the way to the hook shank. Just kind of squishing that Sally Hansons down up and around that thread and saturate it real good and then I turn around and I come right back up to the neck cut your tag end off and you guys I want to apologize I I've taken medicine for like arthritis and stuff and so my hands are stiff and the medicine I'm taking is kind of making me shake so uh, excuse the handshakes uh, just one of those things you gotta live with once you get a little older and what you can do is you can wet these down and, and kind of get the fibers going back like this right here. And what I like to do, since I don't like anything uniform, like right here, this is uniform. I kind of put my scissors this way. And 
and there you go. Just kind of make it a little uneven. Any, anything that's like too perfect or too even on the back end, to me, does not look natural. And I like all my bases to look as natural as possible. And I'm going to do a little measuring. From the back of my hook, I like to come back about a half of an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. Something like that. I like a pretty good tail on it. And then all I do is take and pinch it right there. Cut it. Square cut. And when I lay it down on my hook shank, I kind of push down on it a little bit uh, to where it will, will go all the way around the hook shank. Make a couple of pretty loose ones right there. Nothing real heavy. And then I push down on my hook shank back here to make sure that marabou has gone all the way around. And I come back. Now I'm going to put the pressure on it make it really tight. I don't know if you can see that head moving. Yeah, yeah, you can. That head's moving pretty good, so I got it down there pretty tight. And then what I've done here is I've taken zip ties and I've zip tied this thing off. It just makes it a lot easier for me to measure. Like when I go to pull four of these off, I know to cut it right here and then I don't have a big mess going on. So anyway, I'm going to get off camera real quick and uh, or maybe I can do it here. I don't know. With this stuff, I usually use four, five, six, something, because uh, uh, normally I only use about four pieces, but this is really thin, so I like to add a little more. So anyway, and that's what you get right there. Can you see all those colors in there? Man, that's awesome. And so what I do is I bring my thread back around, maybe a quarter ways back up towards the marabou. I slip it underneath and bring it around. I get a couple of pretty good wraps on it. And then what I like to do is kind of spread it around just a little bit. Not a whole bunch. I like that. Then I go ahead and take it back to the hook shank. Now I'm putting the pressure on it again. Winding it up pretty hard, pretty tight. All the way back up. And that's what she's looking like so far. Now... Let's take a little bit of Sally Hansen's. Put on there. Want to saturate that thread pretty good. If you get a little extra on there, no problemo. Just take and dab it off. And then right here, let me show you. I just start it right behind the head. Loop it. And then I put the pressure on it and I bring it back up to the front. And I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Maybe more, maybe less, depending on <clears throat> how, much you're, uh, how much you're putting on the neck right here. And what that does is because I crank it in a forward motion uh, on my jig right here, or on my clamps, I push it forward. And as it does, it actually unwinds that string, that thread that I just put on there. Yeah, it looks like it's up behind the neck. And then I go ahead and I take about three or four wraps. I cross over. Three or four more wraps. And then I cross over. Three or four more wraps. And then what I like to do to make sure I don't cut my thread is I tilt my head to the side where I can see what's going on. I'll cut that off. Now, take and pull your flashback a little bit I like fluorescent necks on mine I think it gives them a little a natural appeal get a good good uh, wrap there and then on your tool your whipping tool I take and I push I don't know how it's going to show up on camera but I push straight down and then I bring it over the top like that create a figure four and I go one two three, four, and I'm keeping it pretty pretty tight. I like to do that a couple of times. One, two, three, four. And you can hear that string popping. Uh, it's so tight. Cut off my excess. And then take my UV resin. And there we go. Cover that real good. UV light. This UV light I've got right here, uh, I picked up, uh, I think, on Amazon, which I pick up a lot of my stuff. My Sally Hansen's, I get it at Walmart or somewhere. 
Uh, same way on the Loctite, just you know, just kind of any place you're around, you know, carries this stuff, no problemo. You can just kind of pick it up anywhere you want to. So about five or ten seconds around the neck, the stuff has already got a little bit of harden. If you really want this stuff to harden up, this uh, uh, UV resin to harden up really good, put it out in the sunlight. Right now it will not run because of the UV light, but when I get through with my jigs, I take them outside, I set them in the sun for a few hours, and man, that resin gets uh, really cured on there. So the next thing I do is I put eyes on these, and these are five millimeter translucent eyes. Uh, this is about the only size that I use, no matter if it's a 3 16th or a quarter ounce, I try to use the same size eyes. For the simple fact is I don't want 5,000 different uh, type eyes or size eyes in my shop all the time. And they look just as good on this, on a quarter ounce, as they do a 3 16 sound. 3 16 sound, they just got great big eyes on them, which <laughs> they still fit and they still look good. So there you go. But uh, all I do, if I can keep from dropping all of these, come on. Can't tell what side of the plastic it's on. Yeah. There you go, right there. Let me get it on camera. There we go. And then as you release it, you got the sticky side holding it on. I set that down. Take my Loctite super glue. Put a little dab on here. This is where it gets tough for old guys who shake. Just put one small drop on there. Sometimes this goes good, sometimes this does not go good. Set the eye up on there. Oh yeah, it will stick to your fingers. Hope you are watching this. Cause this is what happens. Not every time, but I'm glad I'm kind of you kind of seeing it on camera. Cause they can be a pain. Now, once I get that on there, I don't want any moisture getting behind that eye, loosening it up where that eye come off. So, uh oh. May not stick. I think I got it. Take a UV resin. And yeah, we're going to have to recenter it. You know, I told you those eyes stick to anything. There's one on the end of my finger. Once we put this on there, I won't go anywhere. So it takes a little while to build these. The back end goes pretty quick. But golly, once you get up to that head, uh, you know, sometimes they go good, sometimes they don't. All right, we're going to try again. Just a little drop of that may not be enough. The other reason I use this Loctite Super Glue is because if you'll notice right here on the side, you can actually squeeze this and determine how much glue you actually want out just by squeezing right here. That's why I'm only getting a tiny drop at a time. All right, I'm going after another eye. There you go. She's stuck right there on the very bottom. Now that went a whole lot better. And I don't necessarily put it on the eyeball itself, even though it makes it a little more translucent with the 3D or with the uh, uh, UV resonant on it. I just kind of put it around the edge, and I'll show you in a minute kind of what it kind of what it does. Oh, I have that. I'm gonna grab a pair of pliers up here. I 
anything. Oops. Didn't get a good enough grip on it. Alright. There you go. Well, you can see that translucent in those eyes. Got a pretty neck to it. Body got a lot of sparkle on the back end. And, and listen, folks, whenever you're building these, like I say, I, I don't want anything uniformed on the back end. And if you look at that flash boo right here, uh, there's not much uniform to it. And if there is, I just come in here and I may snip off one or two. They're kind of in the, the bulk of the mix. And then wet your fingers a little bit. And then to kind of show you, let me regroup here. This is what it's going to look like going through the water. Right there. There you go. That's what she looks like going through the water. And that's awesome. I'd bite that. Anyway, uh, y'all stay. Uh, stay tuned. I got some more videos coming up. Uh, I'll have these uh, box sets ready to go here pretty quick. I'm going to turn this camera up to my ugly mug. Uh, I'll have these box sets to go here pretty quick. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you about it online whenever I get them up. Uh, it, that way you can place your orders for them if you'd like. I got some cases coming in, some really nice cases coming in. And I had to search long and hard to get those to really get the kind that I wanted to, to that, that were really waterproof and would, would stand up to the elements and everything. So I got that coming. Y'all be sure and subscribe. It really helps my channel. Uh, that's what kind of supports me I'm making these videos. Um, gosh, I think I've got close to 70 videos and shorts out right now. So, yeah, it takes a long time to get there. <laughs> but anyway, I enjoy doing it. it, it, it it's a... It's a, a great hobby for me, if you want to call it a hobby, but I spend a lot of hours out here in the cave. But anyway, thank you for your support. Uh, be sure and subscribe to the channel. Like, uh, hit the bell for notifications. Y'all know what to do. Shoot, let's go.